Thousands of Starbucks stores will shut down this afternoon so employees can get racial bias training. What did they do? Did someone tell me what they did? You may recall that Starbucks faced controversy after a manager called police on two black men who were arrested after asking to use the bathroom without buying anything. Jerika Duncan is at a Starbucks in Fairlawn, New Jersey. That's just west of New York City. Jerika, good morning. Good morning. This Starbucks behind me is open right now, but it will close at 2.30, and normally it's open until 11 p.m. Now, Starbucks says that closing these stores is just the first step. It is not necessarily the solution. They have teamed up with several civil rights organizations, including the NAACP, to help them create today's curriculum. Starbucks says the program will set the foundation for a longer-term anti-bias, diversity, equity, and inclusion effort. Employees will reportedly watch videos, one featuring rapper Common, and they'll participate in discussions. The training is part of Starbucks initiative to improve the coffee giant's diversity education after last month's incident in Philadelphia, which Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz called reprehensible. The company will close more than 8,000 stores this afternoon. The closures are estimated to cost Starbucks about $12 million. Now, around 7,000 licensed stores in hotels, airports, and colleges, they will remain open, but managers will receive uh, research materials and training material that they will then give to those employees at another time. Gail? All right, Jerika, thank you.